Hey, I'm Mike Mueller, and if you ever wondered how Facebook makes money because they don't charge us, uh, it's charging people to run ads, and it's phenomenal. I'm going to show you a little bit behind the scenes of running an ad. So here I am at my Facebook page. This is my business page. And of course, uh, you know what? We've got ads all down the side, and that's great. And my profile, uh, it's got ads on the side. And even if you have an older style, this is a timeline version. If you got an older style, uh, you've got ads. You see ads on Facebook pages, on groups, on really everywhere. Uh, they're all over the place. And if you click on Create an Ad, you're going to be brought right on over to uh, the ads. So given that, I'm going to show you why ads are so phenomenal. It's the demographics. So when you complete your profile on Facebook, you're, you're giving Facebook some great quality information. Now, here's what happens when you go to create an ad. Uh, one, I'm going to do, have it go back over to my Facebook page, any page. I can create a page just for running an ad if I wanted to. Uh, but it gets even better than that. So I'm going to run an ad. I'm not going to do a sponsored story. We'll get into that later. Uh, and I'm going to do it for a page. Now, I get to pick what uh, tab, when you click on that ad and you're brought over to a Facebook page, which of the tabs that are available, wall info, that kind of stuff, or a custom landing tab are you going to land on? And this is going to be very key. So really, you can see you've got any one of the tabs that happen to be on that page. And of course, I got a bunch of tabs. Uh, so one, never run an ad. Rule number one, never run an ad without sending it to a highly targeted default landing page. Don't send them to wall. Don't send them to info, photos, videos, anything like that. And certainly, uh, why send them to your welcome tab? That's the wrong one, too. Uh, so whatever they push to uh, click on that ad, send them to something that is appropriate for that. Uh, and this, I'm not going to get too into this, but uh, you can change how your ad looks and choose a file and upload things and things like that. But I want to get down into this, targeting. So what I can do is I can go by zip code, and I can put in a zip code, and I'll uh, put in 94598. That's Walnut Creek. And so we'll put in a zip code. Do you see this over on the side? It just changed. So I'm going to now reach 19,360. 19,360 people so far. But you know what? I don't want everybody. Uh, I want age. Oh, you know what? I want age, let's say, 35 to 45. Let's go 45. Watch that little thing. Now I'm down to 8,980. See how we can get a very targeted ad going on this? Uh, you know what? I want people who are into... Uh, B-I-C-Y-C-L-E. Well, hey, look at this. I can start typing and it'll tell me exactly how many people in Facebook are potentially into bicycle or what have you. So I can target uh, something like that and actually pick out something out of their profile. And these are things that they've liked or things they put in their bio. Now, here's another great one. You know what? I'm targeting people who uh, you know are in this zip code and this and this but I can actually only show, or I can choose to show this ad to people who are not fans of my page already, and even better than that, uh, friends of theirs. So if you have liked my page, you're not gonna see the ad, but your friends will. I don't know who your friends are, but Facebook does. So you could do something like that. You could say, you know what, I want uh, all women in that age group who are in a relationship or maybe married uh, who speak uh, Swahili, and that's going to narrow it down, narrow it down, narrow it down. Oh, and I want them to all be college graduates, or maybe in college, or whatever. And so then what I can do is I can actually create this ad, and then of course I can go down to pay-per-click and or uh, impressions, either one. I can run two different ads and see which one works best. Here's the thing about uh, this bid. It says, here's what we suggest the bid should be, and that's if you want to get seen. Um, but that's until they run out of other options, and then that bid price is going to change. Don't go with this. Uh, play with this. Undercut this, maybe. Get it a whole lot cheaper. So everybody who clicks on this ad, is, I'm going to get charged $1.36. 
maybe not. Maybe I might want to go, you know what, 67 cents. So what they're going to do is they're going to run through all of uh, the high-priced ones first when they run out of those because they all have a daily budget. They're going to get down to my 67 cents. I'm paying 67 cents. So this is kind of like eBay in reverse. I'm bidding, and of course the higher, highest bidder wins until they get down to me. And then, of course, I place the order and the ad gets reviewed and, you know, everything works and that's it. But key part in all of this, don't send them to the wall. Don't send them to anything other than a highly targeted, just laser targeted. Whatever they pushed on for that ad, laser target that response.